GTA 5 Criminal Enterprise DLC is finally here. So we finally got it today, the new DLC today at 6 a.m. So if you don't know by now, I'll be showing you in today's video everything that was in the update and everything that's going to be upcoming in the update that is not out yet in the game. So they did not release everything yet. This is only the first day. So before we get into the video, make sure you go subscribe. So if you are new to the channel, go down. You see the red button. Make sure you click it because I'll be doing these type of videos every time Rockstar adds something new because they're going to be adding something new every single week. A new car, basically. So the rest of the thing going to be getting added this Tuesday or Thursday. So this Thursday, you're going to get like some extra cars, possibly the dealership as well. So, you know, make sure you stay tuned for that. Subscribe and turn on post notifications and this video was helpful to any way to you you know because i know some of y'all could not be on gta right now you have work maybe you have summer school so yeah i'll be letting you know because i know not everyone is gonna wake up at 5 a.m but i'm gonna do it for y'all so you know show support to your boy drop a like i appreciate that but enough talking let's get straight into the video and yeah so the first thing what we have is on legendary motorsports and the first car you go on legendary motorsports the first car is the Pegas pegasus uh, to rear or XO is the first car. Then we got the La Pedita Cosita, that is the second car, and we got the Benefactor LM87, and we got the Obey Omnis EGT. So we only got four cars on Legendary so far. Up next, we got Southern San Andreas, and we got this vehicle right here, um, the Bravado Greenwood. I think that's how you pronounce it. And as you can see, this is it. It kind of reminds me of the car from the movie Men in Black. So I don't know if anyone watched that. It's literally like in the movie, the car they drive. So I don't know if anyone watched that. So up next, we got the Konata, which is this new helicopter, 2.4 million, 1.8 million trade price. And make sure you get the trade price because all you have to do is complete the ULP mission. So basically, all you have to do is make your way to the IAA building and then complete the mission. That's literally it. It's going to save you a lot of money if you do that. And yeah, up next, we got some new apartments and some new houses. The only difference is it might be like the interior and the location. The interiors are quite the same from like any other property, but just a different location. So that's about it that we got in terms of like new vehicles. We will be getting more vehicles in the next few weeks. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I'll be doing videos on them. So, you know, make sure you don't miss out on them. And yeah, I'll literally be the first one to upload it. So if you're like on a different time zone and you're waiting for that, then yeah, you're literally going to be the first one to know. We don't got any new Benny's cars just yet. So they had five new, six new vehicles, five cars, one helicopter. And yeah, that's about all. Keep watching because there's two more things that Rockstar added, which really changes everything. How the game plays. And I know everyone been waiting for this. Is the nerf for the Oppressor Mark II. So the oppressor marks who got completely nerfed, like literally completely. The missiles are not good anymore. They're not as good as they used to be. Like the precision is way worse. So as you can see, I'm gonna show you some gameplay right here of me trying to shoot down a helicopter, which is the best example out there of like trying to shoot. As you can see, that missile literally just went by that oppressor. If it was before the update, it would have literally hit it 100%. So as you can see, there's literally like a um, helicopter right in front of me. I'm gonna test it out right here just so you see. Like keep watching, I'm gonna show you this real quick. So as you can see, boom, as you can see, the missile literally went by. So that's how that's how a lot they literally nerfed it a lot. So not a little bit, it was really a big nerf. Not to the point where they removed the missiles, but the missiles are really not precise anymore. So I know some of y'all be dogfighting, and there's always that one guy in the oppressor that just pulls up and has to just ruin the day to blow you up. Well, not anymore. It's not gonna happen no more. You're not gonna get blown up by a pressor while dogfighting because it's not going to be able to hit you the missiles are just not good enough to even get to a jet so you know you don't have to worry about that now the last thing that rockstar did is nerf ko perico so no they did not nerf any of the prices but they did make everything rare in it so if you're trying to get like blue diamond or panther statue it's going to be way harder and plus it's going to be a cooldown so that's about it they added in this update so if you guys didn't enjoy this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe i'm gonna see you guys in the next video